welcome back to our channel this is Ingrid here and if you're new please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure to click on the bell button to get notified on our latest uploads I am trying to achieve oh sorry <laughs> I'm trying to achieve 10,000 subbies by the end of this year so please subscribe to be one of them be part of the family click 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 subscribe and for today's video, I'm here to debunk some of the myths about interracial, biracial, blation marriage or whatever you want to call it. For those who don't know, I'm married to a Ghanaian. I am Asian, if it's not obvious. <laughs> I'm Asian and I am from the Philippines. I am from the Philippines and my husband is Ghanaian. What I'm about to share to you is genuinely based on my experience. These are the myths that I want to debunk. Here we go. Number one is don't marry outside your race. And I was told by someone, actually it sounded more like a warning that, you know, this person even said specifically, specifically said, don't marry a black man. You will regret it. <laughs> and please note that this person is black too so I was quite surprised by the comment I mean you can marry anyone it doesn't even matter if it's within your race or outside your race Again, it's not about the race it's about the person's character and behavior so you're not marrying the person because or maybe some are doing that but for me i did not marry my husband because he's black or he's Ghanaian. it wasn't part of the qualifications in fact before the me before i was not open to marrying someone outside my race see that was me before but now obviously i'm married to someone who is black and from ghana which was something that I did not expect. I did not plan at all. Number two, they say that racial differences make the relationship difficult. Well, this one, I believe that no matter what race, which race you are from, if you're in a relationship and any relationship will face difficulties or challenges, issues in the long run, especially when you start to live under one roof me and my husband we have never lived together so when we started living together after getting married that's when the challenges start to arise so i i believe that no matter what race you will have difficulties you will have challenges again it is not about the race it is about the person's character as a matter of fact even though this relationship brings challenges just as any other relationships facing difficulties issues problems or whatnot whatever you want to call it this marriage in fact i have learned a lot about my husband's culture and my husband is learning a lot about filipino culture too we actually complement each other in so many different ways so i conclude that racial difference or any relationship in that sense for that matter will face challenges no matter what race you are from which race you are from it's not about the race again i conclude it's not about the race number three three <laughs> you are together for other reasons not love <sighs> what an accusation you know I get it. Some people look at us and probably think when you walk down the streets or when we are together in the mall or walking in the park that maybe they're wondering, hmm, I wonder what's money between the two of them. Maybe the man married the woman because of visa or vice versa, blah, blah, blah. You know, if I'm going to be completely honest, I have been in their shoes you know those people thinking that way i have been there done that whenever you see a biracial couple interracial couple i also think the same way like you know being judgmental i had misconceptions 
I had wrong notions about those couples, you know, very much judgmental. I've changed my perspective, not because I am in that type of relationship now. I was, I changed my perspective prior to marrying my husband because first of all, we don't have any right to judge others' relationships. And you know, people will judge you as much as they want, but their judgment is up to them to reconcile, not yours. Accept it or not, believe it or not, we marry because we love each other. Aww. That's it. And also, we were able to accept each other wholly and fully, wholeheartedly. We accept each other's flaws, imperfections, and we accept each other for, you know, like he accepts me for who I am the same way as I accept him for who he is. And that's how relationships should be, I believe, because if you don't accept your partner fully and wholly as your partner is, then the relationship won't work because there's a tendency that you will try to change your partner to sort of mold the person to become who you really want the person to be or to suit your ideal man or woman and that will not work. You can't change a person. The one who loves is the one who changes. And that's it for today's video. I hope that you learned a thing or two and I hope that I debunked some of the myths. Let me know in the comment section if you want more of this type of videos where I discuss a topic or a myth or something like maybe about depression, loneliness, and I will give you or share to you my opinions or my comments based on my experience. Thank you so much for watching and once again don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to click on the subscribe button so we reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Please be one of them. Thank you and see you in my next video. Bye!